Hello, and welcome to the Open Octave MIDI tutorial for Epic Views. The Epic Views engine has two parts views, which are system views and cannot be changed, and custom views, which open into a new dialog where users can create any type of view that they wish. In the Epic View dialog, we can create new views, delete views, or copy them. And in the Views drop down menu, we can select a view and edit it if we wish to. In this case, we're going to create a new view. So we press New and the cursor goes down to the name text box. In this example, we are going to create Epic Brass Staccatos. As this is an Epic view, we better go back and call it Epic Brass Staccatos. The first thing we need to do with a new view is populate it with tracks. And if we go down to the track list, we'll see a list of all the tracks in our project. If we want to filter them, we use the drop down menu above. In this case, we want MIDI tracks. OK. Let's go and find our brass. The first track we want to put in is Horns Section. We click on the entry and then press Add Track. They'll be joined by the trumpets and the trombones. In the panel on the right we can see the track name, the transpose value column and select patch. For an epic view where you're going to record to multiple tracks simultaneously, you can select a patch for each track that is the default. In this case we've added horn staccato, trumpet staccato and trombone staccato. We've added our patches for the three tracks but we'd like to add something extra. Selecting the trombones, we go to the transpose value box and we type in minus 12. When record is set for this epic view, the trombones will be transposed down one octave during recording. If you wish to add any comments for this view, you can do so in the comments panel provided. At this point for a normal custom view, you would press apply and create the view. For an epic view we need to perform one additional action. Go across to the record checkbox on the left of the window and select it. This means that when this view is opened in the composer all tracks are record armed. With the record action selected it means we can now press apply and create our view. We can see in the Epic Views panel a new entry at the bottom that says Epic Brass Staccato. So our view has been created and now it's time to open it. We've opened the view and we can see that the three tracks are record armed and we're getting a signal. So now it's time to start our recording. With recording stopped, we can see that our three tracks are still record armed. This is because you selected the record checkbox when you created your view. At this point we could go to any other part of the project and continue recording. Ok, let's turn off our view and see what happens in our overall project. With the view turned off, Record arm for those three tracks is now disabled, as we can see. They become effectively normal tracks again. A track can belong to more than one view, and in the case of epic views, we could use the same horn section in an epic brass staccato view, an epic brass legato view, or a simple custom view for horns. The choice is yours. 
We hope you enjoy using Open Octave MIDI. Bye for now.